Hello, readers. It's so great to be able to come to you, even if it's not in real life. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about reading and about characters. But did you know that reading isn't always books? We can read and think deeply about characters no matter what the text is. So, it might be a book, but it could also be a video or a movie. But what we're going to practice today is thinking deeply about the characters. I'm about to show you a clip of the video. And in this video, your job is to be thinking about the main character. Her name is Joy, and she's a dog. She's so cute. I want you to be thinking, what is she feeling? What kind of character is she? And you might want to record some of these ideas in your reader's notebook. You might just want to jot it on a sticky note. You could draw a picture. You could write down words that you think of when you think of joy. But I'm going to give you a couple of seconds now to get those materials ready, and then we'll watch. Okay, here we go. All right, so now you may have set up your reader's notebook to look something like this. There are two characters in this story that we're going to focus on. The first is Joy, and the, first, and the second is Heron. So you might have sticky notes. You might have just taken some notes in your writer's or reader's notebook. And right now I want you to think about what kind of character is Joy. You may have said or drawn a smiley face, because she seemed pretty happy and pretty excited, right? Excited. You may have put a little sticky note that just had the word excited. As you continue to watch this video, I want you to think about Heron, who we're about to meet, and what kind of character she is. All right, let's go on to the next slide and see what happens next. You, let me also remind you, you may want to add some things to what you wrote about Joy as well. So as you have those ideas about what kind of character these are, write them down or draw little pictures and you can add them to your chart. All right, let's go. All right, part two. So remember, as you watch this section, you're thinking about Heron, but you might also have some ideas about joy. You might add some new thoughts or ideas to this side of the chart. So let's see what happens next. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so now what are some of your thoughts? You'll notice here I added the word protective to Joy because I'm noticing that really she was just trying to watch out for her owner, but wow, he didn't even seem to get that. But then, what are your th thoughts about Heron? Hmm. I get the feeling that Heron's kind of sneaky. She's just going around stealing from other people. She didn't feel like doing the work, I guess. Gosh, I wonder if you had some of those same thoughts. As we finish watching this video, I want you to add your new thoughts to this chart because you may even have some different ideas as we continue to go. Here's part three, the end of the video. You know what to do. Okay, so now, what do you think? Maybe you discover that, wow, Joy kind of changed a bit. She, she understood something different about Heron. And now that we have the whole picture about Heron, what are your thoughts about her? What I'd like you to do now is take a couple minutes and write down at the bottom or on a new piece of paper, write down your thoughts about how you felt about the characters at the beginning and then at the end of the story. How did they change? What do you think now? Please take a picture and post it on either Seesaw or Google Classroom, whichever um, platform you use, so that I can see that because I, I'm going to show you this video again in another couple of days, and I want to talk a little bit more once I see what your thoughts were. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this great video. Take care.